But I see that uh, oh, Cowboy Coy is in, in the queue down there waiting to be a speaker. I have Cowboy Coy I met in Dallas at a, at a, a screening for, for um, Capital Punishment. He sat with me and ate with me and expressed condolences and immediately went on an interview and said he didn't think Ashley Babbitt was dead. So I just want to take a minute to say, I, I'm not going to curse on your on your on your space, Helena and, and General E, but Cowboy Coy, kiss my ass. Oh, well, it did come out, but that's not exactly as bad as I wanted to wanted to be. So, all right. Now that I got that off my chest, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn my mic off and um, God bless well, you guys. No, leave it. Leave it on right quick, uh, Mickey. And I because I'd like to respond and. You know, I just want you to know and the whole panel to know that on January the 7th, the morning of January the 7th, I drove 3,000 miles from Washington, D.C. to San Diego to go out there to try to meet you and comfort you guys and pray with you because I could see what the media was doing to Ashley. And the media was trying to make Ashley look like some kind of a crazy terrorist, just like all of us. And, and no. I was there. You've already so said that to I, me. No, but Coy, you, you can, said that to me in Dallas. You said you came 3,000 miles looking for a vigil for Ashley. The day after my daughter was murdered, I was face down on my friggin' pillow. So there was no vigil yet. So for you to yes, take that into your into consideration no. and into your hands and just assume she wasn't killed, you're wrong. No. It was rude. No. And it was reprehensible behavior. I'm, I'm out, Helena. I love you. Okay. No, hey, if, if you will, Mickey, Mickey hang on you. and I'll answer Mickey, any, please don't any questions. But I drove to San Diego because I wanted to go pay my respects, not because I was driving out there to try to find out if Ashley was really dead or not. I was going to pay my respects, and I drove 3,000 miles, and I, I wasn't able to find anything.